Hello folks, and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we're in July now, and we're starting off the, what's well, mostly going to be the final hard season of the series, so we've got some barley, because, because we've been doing some contract work. And with that, we got 300 quid for that. So yeah, we accepted three contracts, these are completed. We do have options for cultivating contracts and some more harvesting contracts. 99 and 101. That is up north. So yeah, I think we'll leave that for the time being. We may come back to that later on, but yeah, we need to harvest our fields because most of our fields are ready to harvest, so let's see what's ready to harvest. Obviously the crops we planted recently are still a few months out, like if I had to guess, two months out for, what was that, sorghum? Yeah, two months out for sorghum and about three months out for our soybeans. And we do also have some linseed as well. Some of it's partially ready, and that's what we bought in the last episode. So yeah, I'm thinking we need to take care of our fields before doing more contracts, so... We've got Alfalfa on field 111. And yeah, so that's what we plan. So, we've got canola ready, wheat's ready, and I think that's barley. Yeah, barley and our oat field so stop checking already so yeah that was all ready to harvest so obviously that means we need to change things up a bit so one thing i got done was sold our old john deere combine because i'm sticking to one combine and yes it's going to be the new holland but not this new holland because this has a very small capacity of 30,000 litres and the amount of fields that we've got to work on. Yeah, something at least like double capacity almost. And that's what we've got here. We've got a more modern, couple of generations older New Holland. Also, as in last episode, I did mention about possibly doing some forestry work in that. So yeah, I've gone and purchased the John Deere 843L2. That was on the second hand market. Along with that, we've got a stock grinder. Attached to that, we've got a Raptor. And that's at least, yeah. So, that'd be used for obviously pulling logs and that. And other good stuff, I think. So, yeah. This is the brand new New Holland. I see it's such. It's got a greater hopper than that, so. And yeah, it's just modern, like hell. Like, it's got like a fire suppression system within the wheels. And yeah, it's the. What's that? Intelligent. Whatever that is. But yeah, so. Let's go and sell our 1090 here. And repairing and repeating that. Yeah, we'll get some money back for that, but obviously, yeah, I'm not worried about money at the moment, so. But, yeah, let's hop into our new, new Holland. Yes, yeah, technically it's a 990 and a smaller engine than that, or smaller model than that, but it's got a huge engine of, like, 600 horsepower, so it's a bit more powerful. That means we can push the header and that from, what? Six miles an hour to in upwards of nine or ten miles an hour. Yeah, they may not see much, only a couple more miles an hour. But if you get the harvest done fifty percent faster, that is good, especially when we've got such a variety of fields. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, we'll just go on the trees there. I think that's gonna be a problem with the hopper now. So let's go and pull out of here. Careful of the trailer, but yeah, our trees are still got a ways to go to grow. I'm thinking they're gonna be ready to be processed at the end of the year. 
So I'm toying nicely with the end of the series. Because, yeah, I think we're going to end the series this year or so. But again, saying that, I am tempted to keep the map going, keep the series going. Obviously, it all comes down to viewership and that, so... So yeah, if you want this series to continue, let me know. But anyways, let's head back to the farm, where we've got some trailers on the so... Yeah, I'll we'll explain more when we get to the farm. We go back at the farm. Switch this on, get our lights on. I'll do a, like that little beeping sound, and... Yeah, but it has been, what, since... Actually, I recorded the last segment. It's probably been about, what, a day and a half or so, because... Yeah, I was, like, recording this, and then, as you know, uh, mods start dropping on Thursday, so... Yep, I thought, yeah, get the mod review done. Two maps came out, did the map tours and that. Issues with that, then Friday, this should be coming out, well, it's going for Saturday, but most likely this is going to come out Sunday now. Swapping's on. And just, yeah, it was chaotic with getting all the mods done and that, mod map tours and that. And just the issues with edits as well, like having issues with YouTube being YouTube off terms with processing the map and that, or processing the video and that, shall I say. But yeah, I don't know. But anyways, before we ramble on, we are harvesting. And yeah, this is our canola. And I think if we do the canola... F I think... I'll start off so because we can do all the canoe first, or do just canoe here, get the wheat here done, and yeah, a little bit of sprout through the hedges, so we'll need to take care of that. Looks like it's going to be the final harvest of the series. Not quite near the final episode yet, so I've got a few episodes left. I've gone and borrowed four traders, so for our main carton we've got the Stroutman 3401s and that are 50,000 litre capacity or 52 or something like that and then for the big holding we've got the TLX Tipper not sure what's turning that off now so yeah the logistics and um, yeah let's go to our anything in the use market no, just our old combines. But yeah, so traders, the shrap man's 52,000 litres. And the X52, that can hold 108,000 litres. So, two those of the shrap man's. So yeah, I think the plan's going to be is if at any point we hit the capacity, we do have permission to take our grain for the time being and store it here at the cooperative. No, I haven't really used the cooperative as much, but haven't needed to, like the bells and pad situation. But yeah, we can store the grain here. Big turning radius, so overall we are looking good, so and yeah, there's a reason why with the bigger combine that a lot of it is just, yeah, we've got the header width, that was, some of these fields are going to be interesting. All we have to do is just raise the header and that, and then just rush over the top. But yeah, besides from that, overall it is all good, I'm going to get a lot of sure from this. And my plan is, hopefully, those silos can take short edits. Because in the next episode, I want to make some short pellets and that, but more efficient pellet production in some way. Not something Creative Mission may have intended, but something that, due to the confined physics and logistics of the game, we can get straw pellets directly from straw here without doing too much. All we have to do is be smart with our choices of trailers. But yeah, apart from that, we are looking good. 
And yeah, with the new maps that's come out recently, obviously we had Roshni and Evergreen Valley by Zero Auto. Well, Roshni is by Nick and Evergreen Valley is by Zero Auto. Is it Oito? I'm not sure I pronounced. I apologise on that part, but yeah, like Evergreen, Evergreen Valley is such a nice map. Like, obviously, once again, he has done it again. In terms with maps that didn't know this was in the works. Yeah, may have saw it on testing this, but David and that still really something to the public. But Zero Ito had no announcements, not as far as I'm aware, with announcements of a map and that. And then boom, it's come out with that, and then absolutely beautiful map. Well done, that. Also check out the map tour on that where I've looked into not just the map itself but I've also had a <coughs> bit of a brief look into the production chain so yeah feel free to check that out but yeah so when this comes out on most likely Sunday or maybe Saturday afternoon just depends on how long this episode is and how much I do off camera but Looks like they're gonna be Sunday afternoon because they're like the things that have done that. See now, I'm not sure, but anyways, obviously, plan also gonna be today on Saturday after recording this, get the final episode of New Man's Sands Final Challenge done. Because yeah, that series has been going on for like, what? since my return I think and that was back in July so August, September, October, November, December or just an 8 month series that's been going on for yeah the episodes may not be always consistent in that you know I've had some off weeks here and there with uploading but overall there is that or on 66 episodes so I feel like that. Yes, yeah, six six episodes. Ravenport, I am absolutely loving at the moment. And with Vintage Survival, yeah, I don't know that series. It's not doing well. When it comes to viewership and that, I'm going to keep it going for the time being. That, but maybe reduce that to once a week series and that in a way. Once a week and that, and then focus on. Like us off, get this series wrapped up, get Ravenport done, and my new series I'll be doing on Evergreen Valley because I've yeah, looked at that map and I thought, yeah, that looks lovely. Apologies, sir. I need a bit of a quench my first there with a drink. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, Evergreen Valley, got some ideas of what to do in that series. Haven't done any recording yet. But yeah, being around the map, I was not with just the map torn out with the prepper involved, but also after I've done the video, like went back to it, played on it for an hour or two, and just looking around, observing the map, and figuring out pathways on how to do certain things. And then with that, think about how to implement that as a storyline. But yeah, I do have some ideas. Actually, do we have wheat in here? Is that wheat? No, I no, do think so. No, the green bits look like those wheat, but... But, yeah, sidetrack there. But, anyways, this is the first field done. And I think, you know what, let's just do all the canoe first of all. And then go from there. So we've got this field here. Got 106, got field 6 and field 5, if I recall correctly. So, let's make sure we've got the correct crops. And yeah, bit of field 10 as well. So, yeah, let's get that done. And then, in terms of processing, I'm not sure when we get there. But anyways, let's get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
And there we go, we are done with the canoe work, so first of all, I'm just going to park the combine over here, near the green mill, because we need to start doing this harvest, we'll do that in the next episode I think. So yeah, I'll turn it off, make sure we get headers clear on that. So yeah, we've done a few contracts, so I've showed the little clips of that at the end of the time lapse. So yeah, we've got three more harvesting contracts, all for different crops, for different cell points. And yeah, once again, they'll get done either in between episodes or in the next episode. But yeah, now we need to head down here to offload some of the canoe, because we've got our first load ready. Also, mine's got down a little bit, because we had to purchase a new lorry. Because the man truck that we had, so I had 440 horsepower, and yeah, like it had issues with the tr train now, it wasn't pulling it properly, wouldn't steer and that. So, yeah, that's been part there for now. We'll make it sub, I'm not sure as of yet, but yeah, so we purchased a Volvo FH 16, 750 horsepower. It's not so much for the engine size, I just wanted it for the extra wheels, extra traction. Because, yeah, like, before, with the man, it wasn't turned left, it wouldn't turn right. My only problem with this, as you will find out, is, yeah, in terms with maneuverability and that. But, yeah, I think we got some in other, working out in another trailer, right? Don't know why that's doing in the road. So yeah, we've got 43,000 litres in the field. And if we look into our storage, we've got a additional... How much can we've got in storage? Why are you saying we've got none? We've got some in that silo, right? Uh, let's go over here, second for side two. So yeah, I just want to have a look and... Alright, and actually that was all of the canoe. I thought we had some more than that, but... So yeah, just... Yeah, 108,000 litres plus an additional 43. So yeah, just over 150,000 litres, so... Yeah, now we need to figure out how to process them, and... I think for a lot of it, we're going to get canoe oil from it. But also, we do need to put some back for the community now to get the fuel production on the way as we've mentioned so I just wanted to look at what is required so can't get C from the canola but yeah it's like the ethanol that we can do with getting canola from that so cause that's already been turned on so yeah let's take that down yeah because I want to get canola oil to get diesel so yeah, let's go and do that. So I think for this big load, we'll use that to get the ethanol. And for the smaller loads, we'll get the... Oh, so we're in trouble here. So yeah, big load for the ethanol, small load for the diesel production of canoe oil. So yeah, it's the problem with this. It doesn't really maneuver all that well, to be honest. Like, compared to the man, it was absolute abuse when it comes to steering. That's just that this area is so tight. I mean, like, yeah, the camera's struggling with this. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, eventually got that out. Yeah, it was just like clipping onto a fence, it was for some reason. That's why I couldn't get it out, but anywho, I should best put the cover back on. Or to keep our precious crop dry now. And actually, should we? Yeah, we've either approached it from either direction, so it ain't too bad, actually. We can cut through the field as well, like. Yeah, this was a poor choice in this particular lorry. Especially how long it is, it's like. Yeah, don't get it wrong. Pulling wise, turning. 
no issues whatsoever, but yeah, it's just very long and it sticks out like a sore thumb on this map. It's probably so does just traitor as well, but actually, can I cut through here? Oh, why is Kanuda growing? Or Sorghum, whatever, growing here? Yeah, this is Sorghum, this is. Sorghum or Soybeans, one of the two. Yeah, Sorghum. No idea why that's growing there. I must be a mistake I did during planting that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a way down here to get access to this main road here. Or am I hugely mistaken? Uh, yeah, I'm just coming for our fields at the moment. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I was thinking back there for the other field, but... Oh, anyway, since we're here, might as well use this. And... Wrong, mate. Yeah, literally, it's right here, and how I missed that, I do not know. But anyway, so let's go and put this in our ethanol plant. Which I'm assuming is that thing there. So we need to go over here. Well, I'm assuming it's over here. Again, I could be wrong. Nope, that's the output. Input is over here, fair enough. So yeah, view. Got the right plant. Can know what's going in. I will take it all. If it doesn't, then that's not an issue. You can put it in one of these silos here and that, and then I'm sure one of the workers and that will have a trainer or a loader. And they can just load it up, so. It's taking most of this load. And I should have a little look here, so. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to take all of that easily. And that is a very quick production, that is. So it's got canoe that's going. Actually, we can use some of that diesel to get a little bit of electricity. But yeah, so now we need to start making diesel for the from the canoe oil, so... Let's leave that here for now. And then head to the tractor and, yeah, we'll get the canoe up. Start making some oil, so then we can start making diesel. And there we go. We've got the canola, so let's go and put it in here. Not the best ways of accessing it, but to be fair, it wasn't the best place to be put in the first place, so... Oh, well, where's that trigger to? I think it's like literally there. Yeah, there we go. So that is the canola going in. That's the doors there. Where's the trigger area? Oh, anyways, we'll look at it this way. So, how much we're going to get? 4,800 euros a month. And yeah, a little bit of pig food. Obviously, we're not doing pigs, so that does not affect us. So, 4,800 euros a month. From that load is about 10 months worth of canola oil. So, yeah, that'll last the community a while. And yeah, actually, just skip ahead time a little bit. All oh, rain's on the way. Because, yeah, I just want to see how this impacts our diesel production. So, there we go. Canola's being processed. And yet we're getting a bit canoe meal and diesel. Lovely jubbly. Dang it, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, didn't mean to sell that diesel. Something like a bit too far there, so I know we could have got bioethanol from the canoe though. Ah dang it, we wanted that. We want biofuel, not just normal diesel. Bugger and blast. <laughs> oh dear, but yeah, anyways, I think that is that. 
And yeah, in the next episode, what we'll do is start taking care of the right. So we've got one, two, three right fields. That is barley. So yeah, we'll get the barley harvested, we'll get the wheat harvested. And possibly the oats if we can. Yeah, I've got maybe... Oh. Yeah, if I get all done in the next episode, I can. I'm sure I'll find a way. Also got alfalfa to do, got contract work to do, so... I uh, yeah, even more work just popping up, coving contracts, baiting contracts still to do. And yet, we still got all the bathing to do because we've got a lot of straw. Actually, no, we're not doing bathing, aren't we? No, we need to do the pellets and that, so... Yeah, a lot of straw. And that is what, from... Probably number standpoint... About... Ooh, Less than a quarter of our, all of our fields combined? <laughs> yeah, that's not including the sorghum now. I think we, No, don't get sorghum straw, I don't think so. I'm not sure about soybeans either, but yeah. Rye, we're going to get straw from that. So yeah, not including sorghum and soybeans, because I'm not sh can't remember if we get straw from those or not. I know there's mods like with the Edge Wars Saskatchewan maps on that. On map, not maps. Singular, not plural, but if you don't include those, yeah, that is that's about the size of that. When you combine those, you get those. See, so yeah, about, about a quarter to a third, I'll say. And yeah, also we've got our linseed as well to do. And do I, yeah, I love the look of linseed. I think that's gonna be like the thumbnail of with the combine and that. Also, yeah, we've got the forestry to do as well, like... But that, I am going to be waiting on for these tr trees to grow a bit more, so... Like, actually, how big are these trees here? Three meters... Oh yeah, they're, I think they're placeable trees. But yeah, like, little twig ones here, like... 11 meters is the minimum. But I know some of these haven't grown yet. Cause yeah, these are all planted at the same time, but overall it just looks a bit, a bit, yeah, I'm not sure how to describe it, a bit, yeah, I'm not sure the words for it, but it looks a bit, not f not fulfilling, but it looks a bit unsettled, not unsettled, underwhelming, that's the word I was looking for, however, there is forestry here. Good amount of forestry. And yeah, well, what we're going to be doing as well is I'm going to transport these ourselves. What I'm going to do is use a container, put them in a shipping container and then get them transported. So and there is actually a couple of options for that. Obviously, first of all, I was going to use is it under containers or productions. I think it might be under production, so something that recently came out. Ah, uh, yeah, it's under silo, so basically it's like, yeah, wood shipping container. You put wood in, and then it gets transported. However, I'm thinking, with the recent release of the massive Libra crane, and just in general using those containers up for the mod review, uh, yeah, it was like something different. Like, I've not used those containers before. Like, really, the only time I've used containers is when I did Silver Run for us. And, yeah, that went alright, I'll say, overall, Silver Run. Good series and that. But, yeah, of course, yeah. That's the thing, I love to return to Silver Run because that was literally the last of this play I did last year and that, or sort of last year, before my hiatus. But yeah, honestly, there is options as always with what we can do. But yeah, I'm thinking of the next ways I'm doing at the moment using those ship containers might be quite useful. Yeah, I think it would be useful and useful, that's what I was trying to say. And yeah, in general, what I think about it is over the coming days and that. But yeah. Definitely be starting a new Let's Play series on Evergreen Valley. 
of good ideas of storyline. Partly it's going to be inspired by Mr. CP's Let's Play series on Frontier. Of course, me by the Mac C Map Maker Zero Point Zero. But I'm going to do it differently in ways that suits me and that. But yeah, that's going to be a good Let's Play series coming up. And yeah, in terms of other Let's Play series, I'm not sure for some reason. Yeah, Finch Survival, I may hold that for a bit. It depends on if you're shall get a couple of episodes done and out. And if they do perform as expected, then you know what? I'll put on pause for now. I did talk about going to a different area with Vintage Survival. Maybe somewhere in Poland. Other regions of Poland or even America with that series and that, so. <coughs> but yeah, anyways, as we're starting on the right, we will continue this in the next episode. So yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button and feel free to come down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, prior to you to do, hope you have a say. For now, this is from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.